So, I think we're going to do something a little different, a little bit fun. Okay. You're on vacation right now. I am. Thank God. For those of you out there in TV land, Emily and Rich are at Fantastic Fest. So that's why there's going to be a little bit of a long gap between proper episodes of Viva. And I thought it would be cool to have something that you guys could watch in the meantime. And as you all know, we review a movie about dogs in every episode. And occasionally we have a book club where we talk about movie related books. So I thought it would be neat to merge those two things. Okay. My lovely lady friend, Jill, used to work in children's book publishing. And her favorite author is Margaret Wise Brown, who wrote Goodnight Moon. Excellent. And she told me about this book. She read this book to me. And I'm going to share it with you now. And it is called Mr. Dog, the dog who belonged to himself. Excellent. I'm going to read this to you. We're going to have a little Viva story time. Okay? Gather around, everyone. Get Everybody cozy. sit down. Take get a moment cozy. to get cozy. Pause it. Put on your pajamas. Crack your... yourself a Rainier. Crack a Rainier. Get a hot cup of cocoa. Matt has a story to tell. Sit down for Mr. Dog. By Margaret Wise Brown, illustrated by Garth Williams. Mr. Dog. The dog who belonged to himself. Once upon a time, there was a funny dog named Crispin's Crispian. He was named Crispin's Crispian because he belonged to himself. In the mornings, he woke himself up and he went to the icebox and gave himself some bread and milk. He was a funny old dog. He liked strawberries. Then he took himself for a walk and he went wherever he wanted to go. But one morning he didn't know where he wanted to go. Hmm. Just walk and sooner or later you'll get somewhere, he said to himself. Soon he came to a country where there are lots of dogs. They barked at him and he barked back. They all played together. But still, he wanted to go somewhere. So he walked on until he came to a country where there are lots of cats and rabbits. <laughs> the cats and rabbits jumped in the air and ran. So Crispian jumped in the air and ran after them. He didn't catch them because he ran bang into a little boy. Uh oh. Who are you and who do you belong to? Asked the little boy. Or I am Crispin's Crispian, and I belong to myself, said Crispian. Who and what are you? I am a boy, said the boy, and I belong to myself. I am so glad, said Crispin's Crispian. Come and live with me. <laughs> then they went to a butcher shop to get his poor dog a bone, Crispian said. Now, since Crispin's Crispian belonged to himself, he gave himself the bone, and he trotted home with it. And the boy's little boy bought a big lamb chop and a bright green vegetable and trotted home with Crispin's Crispian. A bright green vegetable. Crispin's Crispian lived in a two-story doghouse in a garden. And in his two-story doghouse, he had a little fur living room with a warm fire that crackled all winter and went out in the summer. His house was always warm. His house had a chimney for the smoke to go out. And upstairs, there was a little bedroom with a bed in it and a place for his leash and a pillow under which he hid his bones. And there was plenty of room in his house for the boy to live there with him. Crispian had a little kitchen upstairs in his two-story doghouse where he fixed himself a good dinner three times a day because he liked to eat. He liked steaks and chops and roast beef and chopped meat and raw eggs. This evening, he made a bone soup with lots of meat in it. He gave some to the boy and the boy liked it. The boy didn't give Crispian his chop bone, but he put some of his bright green vegetable in the soup. What did Crispian do with his dinner? Did he put it in his stomach? Yes, indeed. Okay. He chewed it up and swallowed it into his little fat stomach. And what did the little boy do with his dinner? Did he put it in his stomach? Yes, indeed. He chewed it up and swallowed it into his little fat stomach. Crispin's Crispian was a conservative. He liked everything at the right time. Dinner at dinner time, lunch at lunch time, breakfast in time for breakfast and sunrise at sunrise, and sunset at sunset, and at bedtime, at bedtime he liked everything in its own place. The cup and the saucer, the chair under the table, the stars in the heavens, the moon in the sky, and himself in his own little bed. And then what did he do? Then he curled up in a warm little heap and went to sleep, and he dreamed his own dreams. That was what the dog who belonged to himself did. 
And what did the boy who belonged to himself do? The boy who belonged to himself curled in a warm little heap and went to sleep. And he dreamed his own dreams. That was what the boy who belonged to himself did. Good night. And sweet dreams. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that was beautiful. Good night and sweet dreams from Vivo Physical Media, everybody. We'll see you in a few weeks. Good night and sweet dreams.